Very warm welcome to the top three qualifiers for the FIA Formula One United States Grand Prix. In third place, Carlos Sainz. In second place, Max Verstappen. And taking his fourth pole position in the last five Grand Prix, our pole sitter, Lando Norris. Many congratulations, Lando. That was a tremendous first lap in Q3. Just how good was it? Uh, was, yeah, um, the best of probably my career, I think. Um, yeah, it was just a very nice lap. Uh, I kind of set the bar too high because on my second lap, I was like, guys, I don't think I'm going to improve much here. Um, so, yeah, I mean, I got everything out of the car. We've been, we changed a good amount from uh, the sprint race into quality today now and definitely took a step forward. But, man, I was uh, <laughs> we were still struggling a lot. Um, so I, I just knew I had to, to risk a little bit more and, and give it that little extra. And it just came together perfectly. Um, but it was definitely not a lap I could have repeated. So I'm, I'm very happy because um, I really wasn't expecting to be here today. You say you, ri you risked a bit more. Where did you find the time? Which sectors? I, I mean, it was just, it was a bit everywhere, honestly. But um, of course, the high speed is a little bit, is where we, we struggle a touch comparing to the Red Bulls. Uh, especially, you know, Max has been extremely quick in, in the first sector and the high speed. Um, so trying to limit that a little bit more was um, was a good a good start. And then just uh, the braking, the final sector, you know, f from 12 to 16, um, as soon as one part goes wrong, it can all fall away quite quickly. And again, just hooked everything up, probably the first time all weekend and probably the last. But uh, yeah, um, it, it just came together perfectly. So it um, was, was a very, very good lap. Um, I'd probably say quite confidently the best of my career. Well, it, it certainly looked a good lap. Let's throw it, throw it ahead to the Grand Prix. Uh, tyres were an issue for you in the sprint earlier today. How much of a concern is that ahead of the Grand Prix? Um, I mean, quite a big one. I don't want to do it again. So uh, we'll see. I, I don't think it was as bad as what it was. I think certain events led to such a thing. Um, I think we improved the car quite a bit. Uh, we were definitely not contending anywhere close to pole yesterday. Um, and today we kind of did. I think we're still a bit off, but uh, we're in a good position, you know. So um, I think actually our pace relative to Max over, you know, yesterday and today is probably a bit more similar. Um, I probably expected the, the Ferraris and Mercedes to be a bit quicker today, but maybe they just got a bit more out of the car earlier on in the weekend and we've been able to just take a bigger step forward between the sprint and now. Um, so maybe we, we've caught up a bit, but it's going to be a tough race. I mean, Ferrari were very quick in the race today with the, the degradation. Max is Max. I always said that Max is Max and uh, they're going to be fast. So I'm, I'm excited. I think it's going to be a good battle and probably a good one to watch. All right, looking forward to it. Very well done today. Thank you, Lando. Max, let's come to you now. A case of what might have been for you, just how much time do you think you could have found on that second lap? Yeah, I mean, I was a good amount up, but um, already my first lap in Q3, I missed turn 19. So I don't know what happened there. I just turned in and probably a bit late, tried to carry a bit more speed, but then of course when you're late, you end up really wide, so I had to downshift one more time. So I lost quite a bit of lap time there that would have already been enough for Paul. So I knew that the second lap, you know, was, uh, yeah, there was time to find um, for free, but uh, yeah, never really got to that corner. So, uh, I mean, that's, that, that happens, you know, in qualifying, uh, it's not always in your control. I think um, in general though, for us, this whole weekend so far has been a lot more positive. We could uh, at least fight for Paul and um, that has been a while. So, so just to s summarize, frustrated not to be on pole, but happy with the performance of the car? I'm overall happy. I'm not frustrated. I mean, this just happens in, in qualifying. Mm -hmm. Let's throw it forward to the race then. This is the same front row as we had in Singapore last time out, but are you feeling a lot more confident ahead of the race? I mean, I felt quite decent today. Uh, we made a few changes on the car and hopefully that will help again for the race. Um, and then hopefully we can try and do the same. Do you think tyres are going to be the main talking point in the Grand Prix tomorrow? Always. Okay. Max, thank you for that. Uh, Carlos, let's come to you. Uh, seems like your second Q3 lap was cut short for you as well. A case of what might have been? Uh, yeah, definitely, obviously. Um, everyone can say the same now. And uh, uh, Lando uh, deserves to be on pole. Max deserves to be so I deserve to be third because they did a better job in the first run. But um, that second lap, 
I don't know what changed, uh, if it was a lower track temp or what, but the car came came alive and we were coming in a, in a very fast lap. Um, to be in the ballpark with these two guys, whether to beat them or not, I don't know, but uh, yeah, to be in the ballpark and uh, it's a bit of a shame, but um, we trust that we can hopefully get them tomorrow in the race pace because uh, yeah, the sprint was uh, strong and uh, the car even in qualifying took a, took a step compared to yesterday, so happy with the progress made so far. How confident are you feeling ahead of the Grand Prix? Um, relatively, I mean, uh, the race is going to be very long. Um, we're going to top up the fuel, so what we might have seen in the last stint of the race might not be the same as as the um, as the hundred and something kilos that we put on the car co going into Sunday. But one good thing is that we we had a, a good reference from the sprint. Uh, obviously, these guys haven't stood still, and they would have improved that from graining that uh, a lot of people were struggling with in in the sprint. And I think the the field is going to be very close tomorrow, and it should be a an exciting race between a few cars. All right, we're looking forward to it. Thank you for that. Let's now open this to the floor. Name and publication as ever, please. Who's first? Alex. Okay. Yeah. Uh, Alex Cameron, Chris Auto Sport, question to Lando. Um, just on the, the lap that got you pole position at turn 19, looked like a pretty uh, dramatic snap from the TV coverage. What was it like inside the car? Was that one of the areas where you were really having to, to risk? Thank you. Um, yes, I mean, I was just pushing everywhere, but uh, yesterday in quali, I, um, I mean, I probably did what Max did in his first, like, as soon as you miss the apex, it's, uh, you have to give up the corner because you're going to go off, it's basically your guarantees, so um, it's a hard one to get right, you have to time it perfectly, turn in too early, hit the curb, too late, you miss it and you're off. Um, uh, but it's a corner again where in general we've been a bit down to, to Red Bull. Red Bull are very quick in these, these faster corners. Um, and as one, I just had to risk that a little bit more. I know it was, was close, was on the edge. Um, but it's what I needed today, uh, quite simple. I think the gap was 0.03, I think, to max. Um, and without some of these little bits where uh, maybe some people don't use all of the track on that kind of thing, today I, I had to and I needed to, and, um, and it got me pole. So uh, my, uh, my performance engineer will be very happy with me. Thanks, Lando. All right, next one. Uh, Tim Harini, TSN. Question for Max. Max, you've looked strong here all weekend long. Like Lando had mentioned, you know, the car looks good in the fast stuff as well. Um, where has the car improved the most since Singapore? Uh, I mean, first of all, Singapore has never been a good track for us. All the low speed and uh, corners and, and the bumps. Our car just doesn't really work on that. So it's a very different track layout. Plus, I think we made the car uh, more stable. Uh, so you can attack corners a bit better. And that then also helps, I think, the tires out a bit. So um, I think that has been the, the main improvement. Thanks, Max. All right, Luke. Uh, Luke Smith from The Athletic Atlanta. Just before your um, first lap in Q3, Will was on the radio. Uh, I gave you a message to trust the car. Did, was it just about finding that little extra bit of confidence? And it's quite rare to hear him coming on the radio like that before a lap to G you up. Yeah, that's uh, <laughs> it's a very rare thing. He knows I don't like that kind of stuff normally. So uh, it's just because I, I said after, I think, Q2, I'm just, I was I was just not confident at all in the car. Was was bouncing everywhere, and I just I lacked confidence at that point to to put a good lap together. And um, been struggling in turn one, been struggling in turn twelve. Um, but we we were there or thereabouts. So it was more just a, let's get a good lap in and and be there. Um, so that's what I did. Whether or not what I did was because of Will's comments, I'd probably say no. Otherwise, I'll boost his ego too much. But um, uh, yeah, it was just, I probably needed it a little bit just because I was struggling a lot with the car and we've been a bit off this weekend and I just, a little little kick never hurts sometimes. Thanks, Lando. All right, another one. Andrew Benson, BBC Sport. Lando, you said you've not got had the pace of the Ferraris and Red Bulls this weekend. You've been so quick for so long. Why do you think that is then this weekend? Uh, it's a good question. Um, I don't have an easy answer, honestly, for it. Um, um, 
people would probably hate me for saying it, but I, I don't think we've definitely had the best car for for several races and and quite a few races this year, over the last you know two three months, um, but definitely not every race. Um, Singapore was you know I think we can say quite confidently we were we were the has, uh, best. Um, Baku j just the race before that. Uh, I think um, even though Oscar won, I think he'd won because he drove better than the others. And I think Red Bull and Ferrari were both quicker once again. So um, people might not agree with that. That's our version of events. That's what we think as a team. Um, that's what we believe. So if we just go back two races ago, uh, we were not the quickest car. We were last weekend in, in Singapore, or last time out in Singapore. And perceptions change because of certain things. Uh, when you're in the team and you actually know where you stand, where you are relatively to, to other teams, um, you can just, I can, I can confidently say these things and, and say where I believe we are and where we're not. Um, sometimes I'm wrong, but even like today, I don't think we're, my lap was very good. Um, I could not have gone one and a half tenths quicker or um, probably gone any quicker than the lap I did today, which shows we were not as fast, but, um, Exactly knowing where we're struggling a bit more, it's, it's tough. Um, there's different reasons. A bit of the, the bottoming and the ride in the high speed, that's where we struggle comparing to the Red Bulls. Um, and comparing to the Ferraris, the, the slow speed um, is, is incredible. And I think for even if we go back to Singapore, where we, we dominated, Ferrari were very quick the whole weekend until qualifying, they made some mistakes. Um, I think the, this, the final stint, Charles was the quickest car on the track, on the hard tyre. So. It's just, you need to know information um, before you can make certain comments. And I think it's just been very close and closer than people think, even though we've dominated a few weekends. And this is one where we've just, we're just not quite as quick and maybe the others have taken a couple of steps forward and it's a little bit different. Um, I don't have the exact answer. I'm just driving the car, and, but this is my feeling and, and kind of our feeling as a team. Thanks, Lander. Right, another one, please. Uh, Taylor Pal in Motorsport Week. Question for Carlos. The battle with your teammate in the sprint earlier today arguably cost you or your teammate the chance to chase down Max. Looking ahead tomorrow, will you be looking to have those discussions with the team about how you can work together to push the guys ahead? Yeah. Um, well, first of all, I don't agree with your comment. Um, I think it's a sprint and I think everyone races hard from the beginning to the end. Um, and regarding the second one, obviously, yes, the the race is a, the, ra the main race is a much longer race, where I think everyone tends to play a bit the longer game with tire management, and and everything, and everyone applies all the lessons learned from the sprint, so everyone knows how to manage the tires better, where to manage them, etc. No, so uh, yeah, it will be a matter of uh, putting ourselves in the position to to try and win again. And again, like everything else, it's a lot is dictated by the by the start, by the first lap, and you never know where you're gonna end there. So you cannot go into a race with a super clear plan in your head because normally that plan after one corner is completely um, changes completely because of of that start of or that turn one. No? So let's see. Uh, I'm confident that the, if we do a good job together, for sure we can fight with these two guys. Whether we can beat them. Starting behind them, that's another thing. It's never easy to, to overtake in Formula 1 and never easy to, especially the uh, McLaren and the Red Bull. Thank you, Carlos. Any more? Yep. Thank you. Uh, Alex Carroll on Chris Autosport. Another question for Carlos, please. Just how encouraged are you and the team by the pace of the car this weekend, given it's a very different track type compared to the street tracks, whereas Lando said in the slow corners, you're usually very strong. Thank you. Yeah, for me, that's the... Um, that's the biggest positive so far of the weekend. Uh, the fact that in a normal track, uh, the last normal track was, let's say, more sandboard um, spa, and there we were clear two to four tenths off uh, from the from a McLaren or a Mercedes. And and this weekend, it seems like maybe in quali we don't have the the edge to to fight for them. Although that last lap in quali, something happened to to the car and with my lap that I was really coming on a on a quick one even for qualifying but the reality is that this weekend we're in the fight and i couldn't say the same of sunboard and and spa uh, the last normal tracks we we've been to no so yeah uh, good positive progress and um, it is true that last year we were on pole here with charles so the car must have something some good traits for this especially those twisty sections in sector two and three 
sector one, we're still a clear two tenths, three tenths down to, to Max and, and, and Lando, but you know, we, we then recover in low speed. So there's some good traits of this car that we have to maximize in, in tomorrow. Thank you, Carlos. Any more? Any more questions from the floor? No more questions? We'll leave it there. Good luck tomorrow. Thank